So everybody, in this episode we're going to talk about the basic turns that you can do wing surfing. Right, Luz? Yes, let's get started. Um, so when we're speaking about that, we're going to speak about all of them, uh, flying on the hydra foil. Uh, but you can do all these turns also uh, just with the board on the water. Right. Um, so when you have a lot of speed, you just slow down, put your weight on the, your front foot, uh, and then once your board is on the water, you can start with the turn. So yeah, let's get started with the basic turns. Basic turns, yeah. I mean, the the main one that I do all the time is the downwind jibe. I don't know. I have I have a lot of feeling. Uh, uh, it feels like I'm going back to the windsurfing days because you know you're really powering. You can really like power up and go downwind. I think it feels quite cool. Yes, for sure. Um, and there's two different ways to do them. I guess so. Yeah, you can you can uh, you can uh, like go from the heel side to the toe side, or you can start from the toe side and then go to the heel side. Yeah. Which one do you Which one do you like more? Yeah. So. Um, Actually, it mostly depends for me uh, on my good foot. So I'm a regular left foot forward. So to one side, I like to go from heel side to toe side, and to the other side, from uh, toe side to heel side. So then I first switch my feet and then start the turn. Yeah, so I mean, um, I kind of figured that you want to get into the jibe with quite some speed because it's quite likely that when you're going to turn the hands and the wing around, you, you might have a bit of hesitation and you're going to lose a bit of power in the wing. So I figure that going to the jibe with a lot of speed always helps. Okay, so we're going into the jibe with quite some speed um, and then you power up the foil, really pull a bit on the backhand and then you can start the carve. So you start um, angling the board to the other side. Uh, moving your hips to the direction you want to go and then once you really start the turn you can start moving your hands. So that moment you're not going to use the power of the wing but you're going to have the speed that keeps you going through the turn. So I, I guess you're letting go of the back hand first? Yeah, <laughs> you let go of the back hand uh, and then you put it on the handle of the front hand and let go of your new back hand and grab the wing. So Luz, uh, what else can I do to make, uh, to make the jibes easier? Well if you want you can put straps on your board um, because that makes it's a lot easier to control, you can really uh, do the carve a little bit more aggressive so you turn faster uh, and you keep the speed. Perfect, and then uh, so once we have the jibe under control, I guess the next option is going upwind, which is the tack. And there you have to tell me because I have no idea about it. Yeah, I, I really like this turn, it's uh, a little bit more technical, a bit harder, um, because going upwind of course you're gonna uh, really lose the speed. Yeah, I mean, I saw you today, you know, you were coming full speed and then basically you start angling the board against the wind and you pretty much let go of the backhand and you were just cruising with the front hand, like, and the foil was, uh, you know, total flapping and, you know, uh, you know, flag out with no power and you can just cruise around and then, and then really at the last moment you change your hand, I figured. Yes, exactly. So uh, when you have the wing in one hand, really keep it straight above your head so it doesn't have any power and it doesn't angle one way. Uh, make sure to really look over your shoulder in the direction you want to go. This helps you finish the tack even faster. And then once you're fully around, then you grab the wing and you power up to get speed in a new direction. Very cool. I think I think it's the, probably one of the best yeah. looking. It's a really fun one. And then the toe side to the heel side, personally I find the easiest. And okay. then once you can do that, I would recommend to start uh, doing the heel side to toe side. Okay, so yeah. first start from toe side because then you're going to end up in heel side and yes. you can power up easier probably. Yeah. So, uh, okay, so once we have these turns under control, is there something, something extra that I, can, that I can try? Well, uh, another nice jive to do, um, and we have really flat water here and it's really fun to practice, is to grab the wing on the handle on the leading edge and then start pumping. So you really have zero power for the wing and you're creating your, your yeah. own uh, speed. And then you start doing the turn. Um, and this is really good practicing for if later you want to go uh, cruising the waves. You're gonna really get the feeling of carving, and then once you make the full jibe, you grab the wing again, and you continue in a new direction. So I might need some stretching for my leg before that, yeah? It's gonna be a good workout. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about if I really wanna impress somebody on the beach and I wanna do the coolest turn out there? What would you say? Uh, well, what I find really a fun uh, turn to do is the duck jibe. Um, and it basically works the same as a normal dive, but instead of uh, letting go of your back end, you're gonna let go of your front end, and the wing is gonna make a downward loop. Wow, yeah. sounds, sounds technical, um, sounds pimp, I like it. It's, uh, the wing is gonna stay right in front of you, so it's gonna catch a bit more wind, have more power, so you can do this with a lot of speed, and it's a good one to try. Can, can I spray too? Can, can I spray somebody? Or? Yeah, yeah, make that foil come out of the water. <laughs> <laughs> So that's it for the basic turns in wing surfing. Uh, next video, we're going to speak about uh, some tips for light wind wing surfing. Cheers, guys.